Hi, I'm Professor Dongmin Lee in University of Seoul. I'm working in Department of Transportation Engineering and also in Department of Smart Cities. I was working in the Koti before moving to our school. I'm very happy to have a chance to explain about economic growth and transport mode for our countries. This is the outline for my presentation. It will go through from introduction to lessons. The first part is the introduction. Many people in foreign countries have been talking about Korea economic miracle or the Han River miracles. This figure explains that miracles. Korea economic condition in 1960s were significantly terrible. Korea was one of the poorest countries in the world at that time. After Korea War had been just over. We can check these facts from this slide. In 1961, Korea employment rate was 25%. GDP was less than 100 US dollars. Total amount of export was uh, the 20 million US dollars per year. And the amount of import uh, is the 200 million per year US dollars. However, we successfully made an economic miracle that happened average GMP growth uh, of 7.6% for six decades since 1950. GDP increased from the $69 in 1953 to $20,000 in 2010. And Korea was transformed from the beneficiary country to our, the prominent world player. Generally, transport uh, infrastructure plays a bitter role in the shaping economics. And it makes not only reduce the travel time and cost, but also increase the productivity enhances the, uh, jobs and the labor market accessibilities, open new markets for business, and improve supply chain efficiencies. Based on the relationship between uh, economic development level with the energy consumption, there are three types of transport mode, models in the world. The first model is the USA type, which high uh, economic development and high energy use. This type of model is a transporta transportation model based on vehicles moving. And the second type is European type, which have the high economic development but low energy consumption. The last type is developing country types, which is a lower energy use due to low economic development. Korea is at the middle of, of the position for energy use and economic development level in the world. Second part is the historical review of a trans Korea transport investment. This is summary for a historical review of the major transport investment in Korea. In 1970, Seoul Busan Expressway had been opened. In 1978, Busan Port, which the largest and the most important seaport in Korea, had been opened. And also Busan New Port was opened in 2006. The Korea Train Express, KTX, which is the biggest revolution in Korea Railway, was opened in 2004 to make one-day life for Korea uh, Seoul Busan travel. By the way, in 2003, Incheon International Import Airport, which is one of the highest the service level airports in the world, was opened and in 2018, the second terminal was opened and the capacity increased a lot. 
There were two uh, important institutional progresses. Tra Transport Infrastructure Special Account in 1994 and Transport System Efficiency Act in 2009. We have the Expressway Construction Plan, which is 7 by 9 networks. Typically, construction of Seoul Busan Expressway provide a great contribution for Korea economic growth. This 416 kilometers expressway has completed to construction for only 29 months. For this construction, about 3, 43 billion won, that is 23.6% of national annual budget in 1968 was invested. This is to show how the government considered that uh, this project was important for national economic growth at that time. This is a 7 by 9 Lattice Expressway network as the first road investment master plan. It will enable for our people to access to expressway within 30 minutes from anywhere in Korea. We also have high-speed railway networks, KTX, typically Seoul and Busan KTX, which has 423.8 km railway, was totally opened in nine, 2015. And it changed our life as a one-day lifestyle for whole countries. We have two different operational uh, companies for these uh, high-speed railway systems, Corel and SRT. The total high-speed railways become the 743 kilometers long after open for Honam high-speed speed railway. We have a great international airport, which have 100 million of passenger capacities and is part of Incheon economic free zone equipped with high-level added uh, logistic service. More convenient service is provided after the second terminal was opened in 2018. For seaport, we often the two great container ports in Busan and Incheon. Typically, the, the new Busan container port which is the one of the, the largest container port in the world, was opened in 2006. It can cover annual container traffic uh, exceeding 240 million tons. In urban area, we have the many urban railway networks. The first urban railway networks in Seoul was opened in 1974. Now, many multi-purpose terminals were developed and the survey station becomes the center of city life. About a final financial strategy for those infrastructure development, I will explain three inter interesting systems which, uh, which are transport infrastructure special account, public-private partnership, and the last one is the investment feasibility assessment. The government enacted the Transportation Tax Act in 1993 to ensure the sustainable uh, supply of transport facilities. It went on to enact the act of the special account for road and other transport infrastructure facilities in 1994 to promote smooth expansion of transport facilities and build an effective investment systems. This is the financial resources allocation by transport mode. Budget for load was decreased and budget for other transport mode were increased. Government enacted 
the act on private sector investment in infrastructure in 1994 in an effort to make up, up for the shortage of financial resources and make use of one of the private sector's creativity and efficiencies. There are three types of PPP in infrastructure investment that we apply BOT, Build on Transfer, BTO, Build Transfer Operate, and BTL, Build Transfer Lease. The probability, <coughs> probability of the individual transport infrastructure project is determined through roughly two processes. The preliminary feasibility study conducted and the finance and feasibility assessment. The fourth part is the highway <coughs> based on public uh, transport and revolutionary approach. We start to operate high occupancy vehicle lane uh, since 1984 in urban arterials and expressway. First rapid uh, uh, transit in Seoul metropolitan area was uh, started to be operated since 2004, and it increased bus uh, driving speed and service. So we have been trying to uh, make a harmonization of the highway transit, transit and rail transit. In Korea transport mode, combination of a bus and a railway system inexpensive and equipped with advanced IT technologies are possible to serve. Since 2004, great quality of public transportation service was provided through utilization of ICT for public transportation. Typically, smart card payment system within free train transfer and bus information system, BIS. Through data from the smart card payment system, we can analyze many interesting travel behavior and apply the results for tra public transport policies. The one of the big change of revolution of Seoul city transportation system is Cheonggyecheon restoration and traffic coming since 2005. They changed many travel behavior in uh, central business uh, district CBD and increased the transportation safety. The last part is this presentation is summary and the lesson. Transport infrastructure mixed with other infrastructure lead Korea economic miracle in reality. In 1960, the main transport system was railway systems. But now we have great expressway, railroad, uh, metropolitan survey, international airport, and intercity high-speed train. In 1960, our GDP had been only about 150 US dollars, but our GDP was more than 2,000 US dollars in 2020. It was possible due to uh, the great transport system, advanced planning, the feedback and uh, coordination between different transport plans for harmonious development and cross-sectional cooperation. And these great transport systems promoted economic development by respons responsive planning to mitigate motorization and urban sprawl. We can make this a great transport system through establishment of uh, virtual circle for infrastructure investment, timely transport investment, making, make expand the uh, automobile industry, expanding automobile industry increase, uh, automobile ownerships, 
increasing automobile ownership needs financial system. And this financial system make another transport investment. Thank you for attention and I hope you can have great idea for your transport system development and economic uh, development through this presentation. Thank you.